Hi, I'm Kirsten Searle, co-owner and one of the passionate people behind the revival of the historic Metaferro Wines and from Gisborne on the east coast of New Zealand. Metaferro Wines was established in 1968 by Bill and Dennis Irwin and their first wines were produced in 1975, so almost 40 years ago. Bill was considered one of the modern fathers of viticulture in New Zealand and he was very enthusiastic and had a lot of drive for bringing new clonal material from Europe and also from America. The Gewürztraminer was particularly famous and won a lot of accolades in overseas wine shows in the late 70s. We have a little saying at Metaferro, everyone was drinking it, even the Queen, and the Metaferro Gewürz were served to the Queen when she visited New Zealand in 1978 and later on Dennis actually decided he'd send her a case of wine to Buckingham Palace when she returned back to England. We're proud to say that she sent a letter back and we've got that uh, on the cellar door wall. It says that the Queen will enjoy the Metaferro wines. In 2008 we were fortunate enough to buy uh, the property from the Irwins and really our passion has been to rejuvenate and revitalise and bring, bring the brand back to life. As part of the revitalisation of the property, we've had to replant the vineyard at Metaferro, and here we've, we've put in um, three aromatics, the Gewürztraminer, the Pinot Gris and Viognier. So today we're going to try three wines from the range. I guess just a little bit about the two ranges. We've obviously got a white white label range which is all about our core varietals, things that people know are grown and made from Gisborne, Pinot Gris, Chardonnay, Gewürztramina and Merlot. Then we've got our black range which is called our Church House series. Um, the Metaferro Church actually graces the historic Metaferro wine label and it's the oldest church in the Poverty Bay area so it was quite nice to bring a tier of wines back about, about the church and really about that pioneering tradition that Metaferro was known for. So the first wine that we're going to try today is the 2012 Pinot Gris. So Pinot Gris in Gisborne, it's been quite a tricky grape to grow for a lot of people over the last sort of 10 years. Um, the earlier clones that were brought in set quite tight bunches so were susceptible to disease pressure. Here at Metaferro we've got a new clone of Pinot Gris which was brought in to Gisborne by River Sun, a company there that's very instrumental in bringing new clonal material in from overseas. So just beautiful, really nice kind of floral, that nice sort of pear notes coming through there. Wonderful texture and length and the clones actually really is noted for a nice kind of honeysuckle fig character which while the wine finishes nice and dry it has kind of a nice little hint of sweetness there on the mid palate. So the second wine that we're going to try today is our famous Metaferro 2012 Chardonnay. This is um, obviously Gisborne is renowned for producing Chardonnay but I think it's just a really nice style that has kind of brought people back to Chardonnay over the last few years since we, we relaunched um, the Metaferro wines. This, the Chardonnay is grown um, at Paul and Jenny Teachin's vineyard over in the Ormond side of Gisborne, so really deep soils there, um, clay over a limestone base which is really nice for the Chardonnay, really good growing conditions. Um, it's quite a unique style, it's unoaked but it's had full malolactic fermentation so it's still got that richness that you expect in a Chardonnay but it doesn't have the heaviness of the oak. It's got the really nice rich ripe fruit notes on the nose and that nice caramel butterscotch notes that you get from the malolactic fermentation. Once again it's got lovely texture and length it's got that nice caramel butterscotch note. It still managed to retain a nice freshness and acidity in the wine, so makes it easily enjoyed just on its own, but also pairing with food. So the last wine that we're going to try today is the 2012 Metaferro Church House Gruner Veltliner. I thought it'd be nice just to try something a little bit funky, a little bit different. Um, so we've selected a wine from our Church House series. Gruner Veltliner, not many of you have probably tried it. It's People are sort of calling it Groovy Gruner. Um, they're coming up with all these sorts of names. But it's actually an Austrian grape varietal and sits somewhere between a Pinot Gris and a Chardonnay. So you get that wonderful aromatic lift coming through, but it's also just got a little bit of um, palate weight. 
So on the nose, just really nice citrus sort of blossom notes there. Really wonderful, wonderful aromatics. On the palate, you're getting those nice citrus notes. Finishes with almost a spice. It's a little bit of pepper notes there as well, but a wonderful, a wonderful alternate to the aromatic wines and beautiful with lightly flavoured foods, even sushi. So all of the wines that we've tried today and the rest of the range are available at the Glengarry stores and also available on their website. And if you're down in Gisborne, we'd love to see you at the cellar door.